I Dean, man. Where has this fucking guy been, man? In Turkey, I guess. Um, what a fighter this guy is. I liked his style. Um, you know, I, I know Guerrero. Guerrero looked like a punk to me last night. Um, I mean, I like... Not last night, Saturday night. I, I like him. But, um... The reality was, he kept his arms moving... And he was much busier because he had to be. And, uh, he, um, he, uh, I, I didn't like what I was seeing, but I liked a lot of what I was seeing from Ideen, man. He was composed, his legs, his upper body looked real tight. He had explosive speed. I mean, this guy, this guy was, this guy, he, I liked him, and, and yet, and, 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 and from the reports, apparently he, he's very confident, very arrogant, but he, I thought he was fine inside the ring. He wasn't pulling any dirty antics or anything. He was going low. He, I liked how after Guerrero went low on him for like, the, the, I don't know how many times, but it was, it wasn't the first time. He came right out and blasted him below the belt. And I thought that was cool. He was making a statement. You know, don't fuck with me. Don't hit me below that belt. And sometimes you got to do that. You know, you can't just let somebody keep abusing you, breaking the rules. Um, but, um, no, I liked that guy, you know. And, uh, um, anyhow, the... I hope we, I, th I think he won some American fans, he sure won me over, um, you know, his style's not the greatest, but, but he, you know, he, he definitely was coming on strong near the end, and he was out, out pointing Guerrero in some of the later rounds, um, so I think he was just more or less, he's the type of guy that's kind of looking for that, that one good punch to rock you and then finish you off. He's he's not a win on points kind of a guy. Um, and those are the kinds of fighters we like to watch. Um, so he he I don't maybe one time I saw him look a little dazed from one of Guerrero's hits, but uh, Guerrero looked dazed plenty from his hits. Um, so. Uh, that being said, uh, yeah, I hope we see this guy, 147 weight class. I hope we get to see him again because he really is, uh, he really did seem like an exciting fighter. And uh, it, was a, it was a good fight, but I think Guerrero should have just been more like, instead of being so celebratory and, yeah, come get this belt, Mayweather. Mayweather's going to fucking pull that belt off you and leave you standing there with your fucking shorts at your feet. Um, you know, uh, I don't think he should have been so celebratory. He should have just said, this is a really tough fight. I'm glad that I came out on top. It was a lot of hard work, you know, but, but he was, I don't know. It seemed like some bullshit to me, but anyhow, that's boxing. So we'll see what happens next. And, um, you know, that's it. You know this Ideen guy? Also, he kind of reminded me of um, of uh, Gamboa. Not quite as explosive, but in certain regards, a little bit more structured. Um, but I I, I, I kind of think about him with those explosive shots, and um, you know that. I just saw. I just heard too that uh, Gamboa signed with Mayweather and uh, Fitty, so that that should be cool. Hopefully, we'll see him in action again. It's been a minute since he's fought, and uh, I'm glad to see that he got away from top rank, and uh, now we'll be seeing some good fights with him. Hopefully, um, I hope he fights that Rios. He'll beat his ass. Um, Everybody was saying that he was scared. He backed out of that fight. That was bullshit. It was all about money. It was about contract with Aram. And, um, you know, so we'll see. But um, 
I want to see more of this Idine. He was uh, he's a good, exciting fighter. Um, yeah, out.